we're going to take a look at how to solve for a missing particle given a nuclear equation. We want to take advantage of the fact that we need to have conservation of mass and charge in our reaction, meaning that the total top numbers on the left and the right hand side of the reaction have to add up to the same thing. And the same has to be true of the total bottom numbers. They have to add up to the same thing. So let's look at the first example. Um, on the left hand side, I have 224, and on the bottom, I have 88, and on the right hand side, right now, I have 220 and 86. So all I really have to do is subtract 224 minus 220, and I get that I should have a 4 that I'm missing on top. And if I do 88 minus 86, I should see that there's a 2 that I'm missing on the bottom. And if I look up what element or what particle goes with that charge, that's either helium or an alpha particle. Once I put that helium or alpha particle in, I should have my top and bottom numbers adding up to the same thing. So now, on the left hand side, I have 224 and 88 as well, I didn't change anything there. But on the right hand side, I have 220 plus 4, gives me 224, and 86 plus 2 gives me 88. So I now have a correctly balanced nuclear equation because of my sum of my mass, my top number, and my sum of my atomic numbers are the same on both sides. I can carry this into other types of reactions where maybe I have even more than just um, two things on the right hand side. Maybe I have three things, or maybe I have something on the left and two things on the left and two things on the right. You can see a bunch of different types of nuclear reactions. Um, so let's take a look at this B over here. Um, and let's see, I on the left hand side, I have radon 226, and there's only one thing. So my total top number on the left is 226, and my two bottom is 88. Okay, and on the right, I have 222 plus 4, which gives me 226, and I have 86 plus 2, which gives me 88. Oh, wait a minute. This seems like it's already balanced. So if I'm going to add something else in, it needs to have a top number of 0 and a bottom number of 0. What could that be? Wait a minute. That's gamma radiation. So you could put in um, your gamma symbol. So if you end up having something that has zero, zero, you can also put gamma radiation in, which is actually something that is released in a lot of different nuclear reactions. It's just often omitted because it has no mass and no charge, so it's really not affecting your top or bottom numbers. Let's look at E. Sometimes you might see a coefficient in front. So if I look in front of the neutron, there's a 3 in front. And all that means is if I see a coefficient in front is that it applies to both the top and the bottom number. So that neutron, it's as if there's a total mass of 3 on top and a total mass of 0 on top, um, uh, a total charge of 0 on bottom because 3 times 1 is 3 and 3 times 0 is 0. So if you have a coefficient, all you're doing is you're distributing it to the top and bottom numbers of that particular particle. So that's how you can handle seeing that in a nuclear reaction. So let's take a look at this example, okay? On the left-hand side, I have U-235 and a neutron. So 235 plus 1 gives me 236. On the bottom, I have 92 plus 0, so I have 92 on the left. On the right, I have 91 plus 3 neutrons. And remember, I said to distribute that 3. So it's like 91 plus 3, and that gives me 94 as my top number currently. And I have 36 plus zero on the right, so that leaves me at 36 as my bottom number. So I need to figure out what that missing particle has to be to bring up 94, bring that all the way up to 236, and to bring the bottom number, 36, all the way up to 92. So again, essentially all I'm doing is I'm doing 236, which is my total top number on the left, minus 94, and that gives me 142. So that's going to be my new top number, 142, my new mass number. And I can do the same thing for the bottom numbers. I can do 
92 minus a 36 and I get 56 and that's my new bottom number. And now I just have to look up what element has atomic number 56 and that would be Ba barium. When you're done, double check your work to make sure, in fact, your top and bottom numbers do add up to the same thing. So on the right hand side now, 142 plus 91 plus 3 neutrons, so plus 3, gives me 236. So that's correct. And 56 plus 36 plus 0 ends up giving me 92, which is the same as on the left hand side.